So here I have a mesh. And what I'm going to do is I want to, I'm going to say this right here. See, this is a group. This is a group. And I'm going to say that this right here is the footprint of the foundation of a building I want to put in. I'm going to take it and I don't actually have to have it sit into the geometry. I could have it up above like this if I want. It doesn't really matter. But what I want to do is I'm going to tell it, okay, I'm going to stamp this into this. So I'm going to select my stamp first. This is the stamping geometry. I'm going to hit the stamp button and then it's going to ask me for an offset. Uh, let's do something like, let's do, let's do uh, six inches. What that's saying is, okay, I'm going to take the footprint right here and I'm going to offset it six inches. So I'm going to type in, oops, I don't actually need to highlight that six inches and I'll hit enter and see that red line. It's going to take that red line and stamp it down into whatever mesh I select. So when I pick on this mesh, you'll see what happens. There it is. There's my, there's my, my footprint plus a six inch offset creating, and I can use this, it's called stamp, which makes you think pushing down, but I could actually use this to step up. So if I wanted to step up to where that was floating, I could do that, or I could pull it down below grade like that and give myself, you know, a spot for, which is what the tool is created for, a foundation and then, uh, you know, the space between the ground and the concrete. 